Today I'm with Peter Mockery, who's an actor, a auctioneer and a teacher. Thank you for coming. Great to be here. Peter, give me a bit of a rundown on your background. I uh, started doing acting classes. Got a show called The Restless Years back in 1978. Did a lot of television, then went to NIDA. Came out, uh, got a show called Water Rats, and what else did I do? Murder Call. A uh, lot of TV shows, a lot of stage shows, a couple of films in there. Went to New Zealand, uh, did a show called Shortland Street for seven years. Met my wife and had a son over there, came home. Uh, have always been a teacher, started the NIDA Open program back in 95. Teach it screen-wise. I teach people how to talk down the barrel of a camera because public speaking and talking down a camera is the hardest thing known to mankind. People get nervous. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. So I teach them and give them six or seven things to do while they're getting nervous so their brain doesn't get nervous. Excellent. Well, uh, Jake, who's behind the camera, and myself are super excited <laughs> because this is um, a little bit of our world that we're involved in. So we're looking forward to all your tips today. Sure. Whenever I work with anybody, I go and do a digital interview. You have to, to know what's going on. This is the 21st century, you know. In the old days, you put a photo up and a little bit of copy. No, no, no. I want to see your videos. I want to see who you are. I want to see where your strengths are and what your weaknesses are, especially if I'm going to work with you. And that's a very good point because I feel like I've already met you because yeah. we've been working together on um, Digital Live and we're going to be doing that throughout the year. Yeah. And um, yeah, when you know you walked in the door <laughs> and I was like, oh, hi, Peter. Yeah. So yeah, it's very true that um, you've, to, in this day and age, you can get to know people um, and hear their voice and you know, see their face. So they become very familiar. Yeah, business, business these days, you, it's changed so dramatically. So yes, you've got to have a website, you've got to do all of those apps, and you've got to put up something that's decent because once it's up there, it's gone, you know, until you bury it and people will judge you on your latest video. Yeah, actually I was just reading that on, um, on sites like Instagram or apps like Instagram that the younger generations are going back and deleting their content because they don't want um, people to take what they did in the past as a reflection of who they are today. So um, yeah, that's really good point because as you know, I consider myself an oldie and I, <laughs> I'm happy to just, you know, nothing's really changed in what I look like in the last three or four years. So, you know, I can reuse that, that content. So as we've been chatting, you've been um, looking at the camera and talking to camera. So that's a skill that you have from your acting background and you do training for people in the real estate industry. Absolutely. So um, what kind of training do you provide? Okay, what are you going to say? You know, most people, they get a camera and they say, right, well, I'm going to get up there and wing it. No. A beginning, a middle and an end. Grab your iPhone, put it in the vanity mirror and have a look at what you're doing. Are you moving around too much? Do you put your head to the side? Do you stumble over words? You know, say you're a real estate agent and you say to one of the big providers, you say, I'll meet you at the house at three o'clock. The guy puts his camera there and he says, what do you want? You say, I don't know. He says, well, say a few things, give me an intro. We'll go inside and do some B-roll and then we'll come out and we'll do a, an outro. They sh you shoot it and you get it back in a week's time and you look at it and you think, that's not very good. Well, that's your fault. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? What's your demographic? Have you done a research? There are a lot of tips that you can get going. It's all about preparation. It's like anything. When you go into an appraisal, you've gone and done a domain search or whoever you get your data from, and you know exactly what you're doing before you walk into the property to get the listing. Same as when you do a video. You've got to do your research. You've got to do your preparation. Olympic athletes train for four years. Why can't you do a little voice warm up in the car? Real estate agents say, oh, no, 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 no. Well, get connected to who you are instead of just being a talking head. Know what you're talking about, come from a good place, and it will work because as you just said, you're gonna have to delete it if it's not good. A lot of people at the moment just think they can use their iPhone. They don't worry about good lighting. Well, you're not serving anybody. 
And after a while, your brand will get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. I'm not paying any money for my you know, marketing. Well, it shows. Yes. And, they, and it's a reflection of, on how you're going to market your clients' properties, right? Whether Absolutely. they're investors and it's a rental or it's for sale. Um, they're going to judge you, right? So I agree wholeheartedly. So um, how much energy do you have to have? You know, what's, what works with your energy highs and lows when you're presenting versus when you're just negotiating or talking to a client in, you know, real life? Okay. So... The best thing in the world is just have a conversation, just like we are now. You're seeing that I'm hopefully authentic and genuine, but when you stand in front of a camera, your adrenal glands start to secrete, your heart races to 160 over 90, your thyroid is thumping away, and on top of that, most people have a coffee. G'day, I'm... I'm like reaching for my phone, going, who is this person? Just have a conversation with one person. Mm -hmm. Most people think that I'm going to talk to 3,000 people and it's like a shotgun blast. Mm -hmm. And the pellets fly everywhere. Instead of right down the barrel with a 303 bullet, I'm talking to one person. And I'll think you're talking to me and you'll think they're talking to you, you know. So just calm it down. Everything rises when you get in front of a camera. You, as I said, you get nervous, so you overcompensate. And we're all at home breathing normally, and we've got the little mouse, and we're going, no, nah, I don't like this person. Click, dial tone, onto the next. Same with the God Box. You know, you've got the, the electric marvel when you're doing the television. Yeah. If you're not liking it, gone. So that's a really good point. How long do we have to capture someone's attention? Like, what do you think is the, you know, the seconds to hook them in and make sure that they don't click past us in their feed? In the old days, it used to be three to four minutes. Now it's 90 seconds or less. It depends. So that's the length. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I love that. What about, you know, the beginning? How do you approach the start of your um, video? Because uh, there's a lot of people out there that are doing like these long intros, 15 second intros with graphics flashing up everywhere. Um, what are your thoughts on how you intro yourself and how you make sure that somebody actually wants to listen to you for those full 90 seconds. Do you remember Coco Chanel? Oh, I did. I think I had the perfume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coco used to say, take one piece of jewellery off before you walk out the door. It's the same with your intro. Halve it. Less is more. I know who you are. I'm looking at you. Don't need to give me, you don't need to gild the lily. Show me what you've got, not who you are. Okay, I see you, great, nice to see you, fantastic. Let's get to the meat. Show me that, and then at the end, just quickly get off. Anything more, too long. And what happens is people cut out, so they get nothing. So in that 90 seconds, beginning, middle, and an end, it's like a cadence of music. It has a beat, it has a rhythm. So make sure you get that. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da and you're out. Yeah, I think just like real estate selling a home, there's a lot more to it than people think at face value, right? If you look at television commercials, they're 30 seconds. And in that 30 seconds, they give you everything that you need to go out and buy their product. So if you're doing way over 90 seconds, I've left the building. I'm really looking forward to yeah, hearing more of your insights firsthand at Digital Live. And thank you for being part of this show, the Digital Marketing Show. And um, I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you, Peter. Very welcome. Nice to meet you.